In this video, we will discuss how to calculate the band gap energy from UV vis absorption data using torque plot in origin. This is the torque equation which torque used in 1968 to calculate the absorption edges, that is the band gaps of amorphous germanium and silicon from their absorption data. In this equation, Alpha is the absorption coefficient, H is the Planck's constant, nu is the frequency of the incident photon, A is a proportionality constant, which is determined by the index of refraction, electron and hole effective masses. However, it is usually taken as 1 for amorphous materials. And Eg is the band gap energy. The important term is the exponent gamma, which denotes the nature of the electronic transition. That is, when gamma is equal to 2, it is a direct Levet transition. And when it is equal to half, then it is an indirect Levet transition. For gamma equals 2 by 3, it is a direct forbidden transition. And for gamma equals 1 by 3, an indirect forbidden transition. Typically, the elevate transitions dominate the basic absorption processes, giving either direct or indirect transitions. Thus, the basic procedure for a talk analysis is to acquire optical absorbance data for a sample in question, that spans a range of energies from below the band gap transition to above it. Plotting the alpha h nu power gamma versus h nu is a matter of testing gamma equals 2 or gamma equal 1 over 2 to compare which provides the better fit and thus identifies the correct transition type. If we compare the torx equation with the straight line equation, Putting the y-axis equal to zero will bring us to the x-axis and then solving for the energy, the extrapolation of the linear region of the plot onto the x-axis gives the band gap or edge energy. In this equation, we will first understand the absorption coefficient alpha. According to the Beer lambert law, the transmitted intensity is equal to the exponentially decaying incident intensity. We can rearrange the equation and put x equals L, which is the thickness of the solution through which the intensity is passing. Here it is the standard length of a cuvette. By taking the log of both sides and utilizing this logarithmic relation, this is equal to minus alpha L log E. The log E value is 0.4343. Log I naught over I is defined as the absorbance A. So applying this logarithmic relation, the negative sign is cancelled on both sides and the absorbance equal alpha L times 0.4343. Rearranging the terms and putting L equal to 1 centimeter is in internal dimensions of a standard cuvette. Thus, from the UV with absorption data, we will directly put the value of absorbance and alpha will be in the units of cm inverse. Now, here we will convert the incident energy values into some feasible units. As E is equal to H nu and nu is equal to C over lambda, putting the values as we will find the band gap energy in electron volt, so we will convert joule into electron volt by this relation, which simplifies is this. I can write this like this, and by putting lambda in nanometer instead of meter, we can have its simplification is this. Since our experimental data Lambda is in nanometer. Now, we will start with the UV vis data in origin. The first column shows the wavelength in nanometer, while the second shows the absorbance.
let us plot the data Here we will first find the absorption coefficient alpha by adding an additional column. To calculate the energy H nu, we add another column. Now we will add a couple of columns to find alpha h nu power half and alpha h nu power 2. Let us set the energy column is in X column. Plot first these two columns and then the next column to check which of them is giving the best fit for the extrapolation to the X axis. Here we can see that the square term shows the best fit for the linear region extrapolation. So let us focus on this one. With the line tool, draw a straight line on the x-axis. Now, with the screen reader, we can find the x-intercept value.
and can report it as an inset in the main graph. Thank you for watching the video.